By default, the standalone flash video encoder exports encoded video using the ON2 VP6 codec for use with Flash Player 8 and the Sorensen Spark codec for use with Flash Player 7. Notice that if I choose Flash Player 8 low, medium, or high quality here in the encoding tab in the encode video section I have the ON2 VP6 option. If I choose any of the Flash 7 options, low, medium, or high, I get the Sorensen Spark for the video codec. A codec is a compression-decompression algorithm that controls how video files are compressed during encoding and decompressed during playback. The VP6 video codec is a preferred codec to use when creating flash content that uses video. This VP6 codec provides the best combination of video quality while maintaining a small file size. However, if you know your viewers will not have the latest flash player, maybe Flash Player 7 or earlier, then you'll need to go with the Sorensen Spark codec option, even though that it's inferior to the ON2 VP6 codec. If your Flash content dynamically loads Flash video using either Progressive Download or the Flash Media Server, you can use VP6 video without having to republish your SWF file for Flash Player 8, as long as users use the flash player number 8 to view your content. By streaming or downloading the VP6 video into flash SWF files version 6 or 7 and playing the content using the flash player 8, you avoid having to recreate your SWF files for use with flash player 8. A note of caution, only the flash player 8 supports both the publish and playback of VP6 video. Macromedia publishes a handy chart to give you some guidance in what version your content is and what flash player version you'll need for playback. So on the left side here is the publish version. If you're publishing SWF files to 6 and 7, then you'll need the flash player 6, 7, or 8 to play it back for 6. For 7, if you're publishing the SWF version 7, you'll need the player 7 or 8 to play it back. Notice that for all the VP6 options here for the codec, the playback must be Flash Player 8. However, you can publish an SWF file to version 6, 7, or 8. Now, when you encode on-demand video, you need to balance a variety of factors. So let me review some of these factors for successfully encoding on-demand video, and I'll do this in the next movie.